I have a super special guest who I'm, I'm pumped about, Mr. Quinn Buckner, a living legend in Indiana. Thank you so much. I'm, uh, we've had some discussion. I'm William and Jessica's kid. That's all I am. Yeah. And just trying to do the best I can. And, and when you leave it, leave it better than you found it. That's, that's, that's my deal. Tell me a little bit about some of your proudest moments um, in terms of your resume and, and what you've accomplished and where you are today, and also being, of course, William and Jessica's kid. Uh, let's, let's go to that, because I think it's important people understand if they, they have not heard it. You need to understand, I've been part of the education environment my entire life. Um, my brothers younger than me taught at my high school. Um, my sisters are both older than I am. My oldest sister taught in another high school, but it's still in the same district. The youngest of the two sisters, both older than me, but she's the youngest. She was the superintendent of the high school district. So that's, I'm the only fat one out of six that hadn't taught. My father was an athletic director in an elementary school district that was different than where I went, than my, where my sister was. My mother was my teacher, then became the principal, then became the superintendent of my elementary school uh, district. As I said to you, and I'm very proud of this because they, about 10 years ago, named the school district's office building after my mother. Mm -hmm. My mother was uh, a very uh, soft-spoken person within the house, but was, was a real advocate for young people. For me, for example, I'm, I'm, my dad knew I was an athlete before I could spell it. My mother was much more on the <laughs> education side, so um, in high school. I had tested into what effectively was a general math class. Mm -hmm. My competitiveness said, I, I can do algebra. So, and I said that to my mother. She went in and told them, this, my mother said, this boy said he can do algebra. Well, he tested in the general math. He said he can do algebra, put him in it. And I did it and I aced it. And then I went on to, you know, to take statistics and all the, the requisite things after that. But again, that's, that, that's someone supporting you. Right. And that's so important for you when you're young to have somebody to believe in you and support you along the way. And, and, and she did that. Um, and she did it as a mother, but she did it as uh, trying to help a young person grow mm -hmm. and, and, and follow their dreams, what they believe. Mm -hmm. And so that, that was an early part of my life. And I, it really, you talk about mold you. Yeah, she happened to be my mother, but she was a teacher. I, I can name numerous kids that she would do the exact same thing for because she understood the value of education. Mm -hmm. There is no less than eight to ten either EDHDs, PhDs, doctors on my mother's side of the family. So that's, that's part of what, what molds me is my family. Yeah. My family's been in that, and I said this to you, I, I, I'm, my part of education and, and my, my why is to try to inspire people to be greater than they ever thought they could be because I sit before you doing things I had no clue that I could do, but people believed in me and they moved me along and it started very much with my mother, the teacher, mm -hmm. uh, the kind of combination thing. And so I know that you, given an opportunity, and if you really want it bad enough, you really can do anything you want to do. My parents were always driving education. My dad used to do something that um, I would encourage any parent to do, and it's helpful to the teachers. My dad would ask this question, what are you going to do after you graduate from college? Mm -hmm. So it was a foregone conclusion that you were going, and you were going to graduate. And, and the... The, the, you, you tell your mind that after a while, you know that's, that's the path. Yes. Thinking about how impactful your family of educators were in your path, mm -hmm. um, were there any other educators? And educators oh, can yeah. take many, many forms. It can also be coaches. Yeah. I mean, many well, people can impact. Were there any others that you would want to point out specifically? Who, who really was like, that person really made a difference in my life. Uh, my coaches did. Okay. M my coaches, Ron Ferguson, who's no longer with us, was really instrumental in helping me. Because um, I had to deal with, uh, first of all, I got bust, so I had to deal with integration, and he helped me deal with that and stay balanced yes. with that and, and kept me, just kept me on a path. Yes. Um, but he also was trying to make sure that I, I, you know, basically to stay out of trouble, just understand the kind of issue that you deal with. Um, I, I, my parents were, were, my dad was coming at you like this. This was not guessing where he's coming from. <laughs> my mother every now and then will, you know, kind of 
smooth the edges on her conversation. He didn't. Much like Coach Knight. I knew you were going to say Coach Knight. But that's where I was. That's, that's where, where I was driving kinda, me to. I know. I didn't mean to, yes. but it kind of led there. But it's so a natural. Coach Knight. Coach Knight is an educator at yes. his heart. Yes. The, the things he tried to do was to make sure you did the right things and you're prepared for your success. So that's, that is, that's a life lesson. And so it was to, if you didn't do something well, then go pr work on it. And so for him, he kept driving our, our um, really as a team, to, to do the things that can help you be successful. But he did it with, the, he, he calls it the power of negative thinking for games. Oh, what are you talking about? So turnovers, free throws. Make, don't turn it over, make your free throws. That gives you the best opportunity to succeed, but it also creates a way of thinking. Okay, what can get in your way of success? So he, all the great coaches, Mike Krzyzewski, who's at Duke, was one of my grad assistants, and Mike is the same way. I've had great experiences with Mike. You can go down and look at Coach Wooden, who's, very, who's obviously gone, but Coach Wooden was the same way. They are all teachers. Yes. So not only are you trying to teach them or educate them about the game, you're using the game as a metaphor for life. Yes. Somebody sets a screen, Coach, I, I, I couldn't get there. Oh, somebody throws a barrier in front of you and you're trying to get over here. You're going to stay there? You're going to find a way around it. That's, that's, a full, that's education. Absolutely. And I had a, a, another gentleman who was just there to kind of guide me when I was out of the house named Veltra Dawson, who, I, who used to make sure the gym was open so we could all play, um, would sit and talk with us. Because now, not, how old were you at that, at that I was, time? Mr. Dawson at that time was probably, I was in sixth grade. Sixth grade. Sixth, seventh, and eighth So grade. he made sure the gym was open, yes. would sit down and talk to you. Because... In, 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 it's just a, somebody, another guy or another person who took interest in us. And, and it might, you know, this, the town was small. It's only about you know, 3,500, 5,000 people maybe going the other way. But quite frankly, he know what stupid things you'd been doing. I bet he did. Because, you know, people talk. <laughs> sure. It, you may want to watch doing that. You know, so he yeah. tugged you a little bit. So I've had, all of us have support in, in our own ways. I have been so blessed. Never in my mind do I ever believe a solo artists. I'm not a solo artist. I'm part of a team concept from the day that I was born. Mm. That's what my family's been about. That's what the teams I played on have been about. That's what I, my work with the Pacers is about. Mm. Um, I work with a team on my financial uh, business. I work with a team at the university. I believe in teams. Yes. I, I, because whether you like it or not, or you'd like the description, it is group, it's just a group dynamic. Right. And we're only as good as the weakest link, and it's important wherever you are in that chain, you're supporting the mission. And I got that from my family. I, I, you, you have hit so many different important lessons, um, celebration of you should celebrate ed them. educators. Quinn, it's been a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for celebrating Indiana's teachers. Yes, and well, they should be celebrated. Yes. Thank you. Thank you.